Former Acting Chief Procurement Officer Scott Cumin has spoken out on his role in Treasury's 100 Suppliers Project. ANN7 had exposed last week how a project that was meant to save money for the Treasury was mismanaged. A company called CIPS was chosen to negotiate with the top 100 suppliers and was to be paid at $25 million for the job. CIPS, the company hired for the job, was paid in full despite working only on 22 suppliers. The internal audit report seen by ANN7 recommends extra payment made to CIPS will be recovered. But the architect of that project, Skark Human, says nothing is amiss. The draft, the version 2 of the draft report was presented to my office on the 16th of August and we have an opportunity to provide a, a, a management comment. The auditor had to sift through 14 months of documentation, more than 850 different contracts. The finding uh, suggesting that there must be a repayment is premature. There was value, but there was a decision not to enter into agreements with Auditor General South Africa, the banks, uh, pharmaceuticals. Here are the details of human's involvement in the project. Skark Human was the Treasury's leader for the Top 100 Suppliers project. He signed off on full payment of 25 million rands to CIPS for working on just 22 instead of the Top 100 Suppliers. As per the draft internal audit, as the project lead, Human was responsible for the poor project management by National Treasury. He also seemingly turned a blind eye to unjustified payment of invoices to CIPS, thereby wasting taxpayers' millions. When in charge, he did not act on the internal audit, highlighting the gross financial mismanagement in the project. The status of the internal audit report uh, that, uh, that you had access to is a draft. We have received version 2 of this report and now we're reflecting on that. So, so what is the facts of this project? The end result of this negotiation was a saving of 7.3 billion rand. Some of the contracts we could not finalize a uh, negotiation. And these are uh, um, mostly government organizations. The rates are set by Parliament for Auditor General. It's not really a commercially negotiated contract. NASA pronounces every year a rate for electricity and it's not really commercially negotiated by government or its users. The internal audit on the top 100 has not even been presented to the audit committee. It's really very prematurely reported on. Um, the purpose is that we allow the auditor to do his work well and we re require professional uh, uh, process and procedures for, from the internal auditors. We are hopefully going to conclude this process by the end of this month, present it to the audit committee and uh, then we'll take it from there.